This is the next level, my friends. How are you doing? Hacker Man is back. And I know everybody wants to have the complex stuff with the million settings and the extensions and whatnot. I like it the simple way because I'm a simple guy, baby. And today I want to show you something. It's just, it's just perfect. Perfecto, my friends. Now look at these examples, how exquisite that is. The transformation from that starting image is pretty cool already. And then you get an output that's just magical. That's just beautiful. That just grips you. And you want to print that and hang it on your wall. So let me show you how that is done. Let me start you off with some good old mid journey this is just a starting point don't worry don't get cracking here you can use leonardo you can use playground ai you can use different models you can use whatever you want to create that base image the only thing that i'm saying here is that with mid journey you get some complex compositions you get some nice art some good colors it's all in there. Reason being that, of course, Midjourney is trained artistically, creatively. It's just beautiful. It's a good starting point is what I'm saying here. And now, my friends, it's time for the magic. Yeah, it's simple. It's easy, but it's just mwah. let's do it. So I want you to head over to your good old image to image tab because, baby, this is just where the magic happens. And then you're going to load your mid journey or whatever kind of image you want to use. You want to describe it up here. I have a nice negative prompt. I have a nice positive prompt up here with these additions. I will add that as a text file so you can use the same settings as me. I'm using the Epic Realism Natural Sin model. You can use whatever you want, but this works really well for this kind of photographic aesthetic. Mwah, just amazing. Then down here in the image to image settings, I'm using the original resolution, which is pretty high. In this case, it's 1456 by 816. But that's not a problem because we're going to go image to image. I'm using as a sampler DPM++ SDE Keras using 30 sampling steps. CFG scale 7 and then the denoise strength. Now the denoise strength that is at 0 0.4. It is pretty high so it can do some nice changes turning it from the digital art to that photographic image. I'm not doing any upscaling at this point. I'm just rendering it from one image to the other image in a new style. Now, once this has rendered already, you can see the magic dropping like crazy. Like, look at that, how just amazing that is. But I want to have that even better. This is not enough, my friends. So what are we going to do here? Down here, you have this button that sends it to extras. You click that. And when you're over at extras, you're going to use the 8x NMKD Super Scale 150,000G model. I'm going to link that below the video. You're going to set your upscale either to two times. You can even set it to four times if you want to. And then as an output, you get this. Now let me zoom in here. Whoa. The detail, the just the magic that is happening, the beauty in the dress and everywhere. And of course, because of the mid journey base that we are using here, the magical colors, the light, the composition, just everything is just super amazing. I'm going to say it. This is one of the simplest tricks on my channel. It's one of the best magical results I've seen so far. I am in love with that, right? This is I want to eat my screen right now because it just looks so good. Like if you like that video, if you enjoy that trick, share it, like it. Give me some feedback, my friends, because I'm I'm just blown away. I'm so in love with this right now because it just looks so good. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.